So we get into some of the safety switches and on the power side, circuit breakers. We've got two control panels. The one that has our main power input, that's where we're going to have circuit breakers. We're going to have contactors, but motor overloads. You know, now we're just monitoring fluid pump motors and those overloads are set up. They're bimetal resistors inside. If they sense too much amperage for too long of a period of time, they're going to trip and they're uh, set up for a manual reset. There's a reset button right below where my cursor is showing now the red dot. There's little blue buttons. If they need reset, there is a trip indicator under the plastic piece right here. I know it might be a little hard to see with the size, but I don't typically rely on those very often myself. It takes just a second to hit the blue button. And if you hear a click and it, it reset, then I know that's my issue. And I've got my amp meter out and I'm checking amperage. We also have the high, low pressure safety switches that are uh, monitoring suction and discharge pressure. On our systems, we mount those directly behind some suction and discharge uh, pressure gauges that are just some uh, analog gauges we leave. Those gauges are not consistently calibrated. They go through shipping. It's a it's just a it's a tool that that we add to the equipment to help make diagnostics a little better. If I was trying to do some diagnostics where I wanted to test the accuracy of a pressure transducer, I wouldn't rely on those gauges. I would rely on my my own set of transcritical CO2 refrigeration gauges that I service equipment with to, to get some verification.